Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creation. So glad you're here. Thanks for stopping in. Well, I got this in my lovely gift basket that I won at the Fluid Art Experience. I won, yes, pr prize number one. So grateful and really, really stunned. So this is a leaky cup from the Massey Art Studio. I have tried, this will be my third time trying to do a pearl pour with this. The first one turned out really good, but I left too much paint on the canvas, so I had to scrape it. Second one here, I t had to tilt a lot off, and um, that's what I ended up with. So I think I have a plan. I have a plan, I don't know if it's going to work. Let me see, are you straight? No, you're not. There we go, okay. So what I'm gonna do, I have um, did my edges, I'm going to pour the cloud mix that Sarah Taylor and I are still working on. No, it's not ready. It may be, I think we're gonna have a release next Tuesday. So I'm pouring this over here so that I don't have too much paint on. So my colors, <clears throat> this is a Payne's Gray and I put a little bit of a King of Paints from um, TLP in here. It's just a little bit, I have a little bit left of the pearl white from Modern Masters and there's some iridescent pearl from Golden. And I think I even added a little bit of this. This is um, Interference Gold, fine. And I also added the Interference Gold, fine, to the, um, this is Amsterdam Naples Yellow Red Light. Real fleshy tone. This is golden, iridescent, bright gold fine. And to that, I added some um, Modern Masters pale gold. And I also added a little bit of this. No, I didn't add that. I tried something new. It's something brand new. I picked up today, it's a Liquitex. Um, acrylic medium in gold metallic. So um, actually when I poured it in there, I, it started to kind of sell up. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that when you put your um, flow trawl in, it starts making all these. Yeah, that's what it was doing. So that's what I'm gonna do with that one. I also have Amsterdam greenish blue, my favorite. And this is a new one for me too. This is Amsterdam turquoise, phthalo light. So what I'm going to try and do is put a little bit of the pearl mix in first through the leaky cup. Then I'm going to put my colors down. I'm going to start with the iridescent pearl. And after that, I'm going to add the gold. put the iridescent pearl down and then the gold, somehow, some way, it always pearls. So it'll be interesting, we'll see. Then I'm gonna do the turquoise light. Thank you, Massey boys, by the way. Then a little bit of this. This stuff pearls up nice too. Then put the dark colors on top. The first one I did was really spectacular, but I goofed it up. It was just too much paint. So that's a lot of paint there. I think this should work a lot better. I could be wrong. I have been wrong before. Let me just put a little tiny bit more of this. It's such a pretty color. It's like phthalo turquoise, but it's light. I'm gonna let this um, run down a little bit. Then I'm gonna tilt. Let me see, I do want some more dark in there. Some more paints gray. That's gonna be a lot of paint. 
And since I put the white down first, it should be okay. Now I'm gonna pick this up and twist it. Perfect! Oh, I love that. And there's always a bubble there. Oh! <laughs> that was special. <laughs> Bonus. All right, I'm gonna get the corners just for, for giggles. And um, yeah, I'm still working, we're still working on this uh, pearl mixed with the Artist Loft. Um, getting real close. You know, you guys know if you've been watching, I'm just not letting go of it. <laughs> I'm just not letting it defeat me. So we'll see how this works out. I've got the handles on. I love these handles. I'll put a link in the description for both the handles and for the um, leaky cup from the um, uh, Massey, Massey Art Studio. I met those guys at the Fluid Art Experience. Oh my God, everyone was so wonderful. It was just great. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna tilt this way first and then back over this way. There's lots of paint on here. I like that center. And then we're gonna bring it over this way. And, ooh, I'm really liking this, guys. I hope I can get enough paint off here to make it real pretty. Look at I'm doing a <laughs> doing a little ring pour. Ta-da! All right. Ooh, hurry! See, this is what I had the first time, and it um, I left way too much paint on it, and it didn't work out. It was just it didn't work out. This is really super pretty. I'm liking it. I'm gonna bring it down. Take all these nasty cells off and then get some more. Oh yeah, me like it. So I'm gonna let it sit for a bit. And what I'm gonna do, I might, I'm gonna put you on time-lapse, but on slow time-lapse so that I, if uh, I do any enhancements to it, you can see it. Now see, the paint's not moving that much, which is good. Okay, see, um, that means I've gotten enough paint off. And I want to tilt it quite a bit here. We'll do a vertical tilt so that we get enough paint off. See, beautiful, beautiful pearls there. Bring it down a little bit. I need to bring it over because this side doesn't have that much. We'll just let it do its thing. This is gorgeous. So, let me see if you are centered. Yeah, look at this. Oh, pfft. not exactly. I had a nice ring, ring pork on there. All right, I think you're centered. I'm gonna put you on time lapse.
All right, guys, this has to be one of my favorite pieces of all time. I love it. I love what's happening in here. Look at that sparkle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I love that part right there. The lighter blue against that uh, Payne's gray. The cells, the pearls. I like, I love actually. I'm, it's all in how it dries though, folks. <laughs> you know, um, I don't know if I overdid it on the enhancements. I think I stopped right at the right time. <laughs> um, sometimes we overwork things and I, yeah, I'm just thrilled with this piece. Can't wait to see how it dries. And this is a preview of some of the pearls we can get with our new recipe. Look at these right there. Look at the, oh, I love that. How the colors are coming through. Yep, definitely. Oh, it's the keeper for sure. I love this. Um, so you can get um, the Leaky Cup from Massey Art Studio. And I'll put the link in the description and you can get the handles from Amazon and I'll put that link in the description and if you see any pieces you um, would like to make your own please email me at gcfluidart at gmail.com please be safe and create please like share and subscribe and ciao for now well guys here it is all dry absolutely beautiful I'm really happy with the pearls, feeling confident about releasing the, um, the recipe now. So, yeah, I'll see you on Friday for the release.